This video contains the interrogation of a man who refused to be trapped into making a false confession. Jeff was a Georgia resident with an addiction problem who had been through the justice system multiple times. This made him seem like a target for an easy conviction when the police found him at a friend's house while they were working on an armed robbery case. They arrested Jeff and brought him in for questioning, but the result wasn't what they were expecting. Am I under arrest? For now. I'm under arrest? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything, but before I talk, before I explain myself to you, before we talk to each other, I need to read your rights, okay? What am I under arrest for? Well, like I said, I need to read your rights first. Obviously, the charge is robbery, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything. I'm under arrest for robbery? You are, but let me read your rights real quick, okay? And then I'll explain it all to you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Let me do that real fast. Mm -hmm. All right, Jeff. Can you read with me? Just read in your head, okay? Before we ask you any questions, you must understand that what your rights are. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to the lawyer for advice before we question you and have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer and you want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you'll still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time that you want to, until you talk to the lawyer. Does that make sense? You've probably heard these before, haven't you? Does that make sense? Do you understand your rights? Do you understand your rights, Jeff? Yes or no? Do you understand? Jeff shows that he fully understands by taking his right to silence literally, much to the annoyance of the detectives. We're getting paid more than you are, so we can sit here for a long time, man. I just need you to answer me. Yes or no, do you understand your rights? Let's get through that question. Do you understand what I read you? Do you comprehend what I read you? Jeff, I'm just here to talk to you and figure out what happened and move you on out of here and at least some of it. So do you understand the rights I read to you? If you got something that says you didn't do this robbery, this is your chance to talk to us. Okay, good cop. Uh, no, usually I'm the prick. You look like the prick. I am. Jeff, do you understand your rights, yes or no? I'm, I'm not asking if you want to talk to me at this point. I just want to know, do you understand what I read to you? That's all my under arrest. Yes, you're under arrest. Get me back to the cell. I don't talk. Jeff demands to be taken back to his cell. He has no intention of cooperating. Talk to you, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. You change your mind, you want to talk to this? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want a coat? Yeah. 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 You gonna be able to pop it open or you need me to? I need methadone. You need methadone? Yeah, you gotta give me that methadone. I don't have any. Do you have a medication for it or I mean a prescription for it? Or? No. What do you need methadone for? Because I'm a fucking junkie and you guys I can't get no methadone. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go through withdrawal here in a minute. Where do you usually get your methadone from? I don't get it. I get heroin. The detective tries to find out Jeff's source, but Jeff isn't about to snitch. How long you been using heroin? Long time, buddy. Ten years? Fifteen years? I hardly been alive that long. What are you trying to talk to me about here? Talk to you about what happened last night. Look, here's the deal. Either you're in a bad, bad set of circumstances or you went and committed an armed robbery last night. Yeah, right? I'm in a shitty... Uh, wrong place at the wrong time, obviously. I didn't commit no fucking armed robbery. All right, then let's talk about this. Let's, let's I don't, not have nothing, I don't talk to the police, man. I think it's in your best interest to. How? Man. I don't you're, talk you're to the police. Here, okay. I've been through the system, buddy. I know how I know it works. You have. I know you have, You're Jeff. not my friend. I'm not your friend. You're trying to fucking get me. Or you're no, trying I'm not to, trying to get you. All you're trying to get is some fucking stupid-ass fucking confession, and you're not going to get one. Jeff, I'm not going to get a confession out of you for nothing. Exactly, because and I didn't I'm do nothing. I'm not trying to get a confession out of you. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I didn't commit no armed robbery, 
And y'all ain't got no fucking evidence saying I did. Let me go. All you did is find me sitting in my buddy's house because my fucking buddy's dog's going to ape shit. I go outside. There are cops everywhere. And they spotlight me. They say, come here. I say, what's up? They search me. They ain't find nothing. What's Let up? Let me read this. No. Okay. Yes. Because I'm not going to sign it. You don't have to sign it. Jeff is confident that there is no evidence and he is adamant that he isn't going to be tricked into giving them the evidence to use against him. So let me read it for you. Okay? I'm not signing nothing. You don't have to sign it. Let me read it. You, you heard it earlier already. You've been through the system. You know it. It ain't going to change a thing. You're still sitting here. Warning as to your rights guaranteed by the Miranda decision of the Supreme Court of the United States. You already read it to me earlier. I know we did, but I'm going to read it to you again. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Before we ask any questions, you must understand what your rights are. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we question you and have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand the rights I've explained to you? No. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what happened last night. Plain and simple. Your your side of the story. I'm not talking to you. I'm warning you. Uh, all right. This is I, what I, I don't understand. I, I, I know, but this is what I don't understand, well, Jeff. You were sitting there talking just like you were ready to sit here and tell me what happened last night, and then all of a sudden I read that to you and you screw it, I ain't talking to you. I want a lawyer. I don't understand that. What what changed I, I, just in the Because I told you what I already told you what happened. You didn't. How didn't I? You didn't tell me what happened last night. How didn't but, I just tell you what happened? But now you've handcuffed me, and I can't talk to you because you've asked for an attorney. Right. So, okay, that's fine. But I will tell you right now, you're still on a hold for a robbery. I know. I don't know why I need a fucking lawyer because, uh, obviously, I didn't do nothing. And, obviously, you guys know I didn't do nothing because I've been arrested for the same bullshit before, and you guys don't interview me this much. So... Wham bam! Thank you for the coke. Put me back in the cell. Well, we That's my home. You yet. That's my home. All right. Well, you haven't interviewed me yet. Yeah. The detective is on a fishing expedition, and Jeff wants no part of it. Either they're going to have to prove he was involved, or they will have to release him. I'm not being interviewed. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We haven't interviewed you yet. Hang on. While you're right there. Hang on. Yeah. All right. I know we do this twice, but I got to do it again every time, okay? Before I ask you any questions, I got to read your rights. Either I remain silent, anything you say I can will be used against you in the court of law. Either I talk to a lawyer for advice before we question you, have him with you during questioning. Do not afford to hire a lawyer and you want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Do you understand that? Okay. Go ahead and sign there. Let me take your gas off. Look, I'm not signing that. Okay, sign you don't have to sign anything. Right? You understand your rights, though, right? Yeah. That's all I need is verbal yes? Yeah. Okay. So when's this coat going to be here? Or is that just a fairy it, tale? It's coming. He's getting it right now. It'll be here in about two minutes. He has to watch the sewing machine. What do you want to talk about? Well, I need to know what this DOC or PMP hold is. What's that about? That's with your uh, parole. What What does that mean? Basically, they put a parole violation on you. They put a violation on me? So I had this before, or what? No, no. I got I got you violated. You did? Yeah. For what? For uh, armed robbery. I, I ain't been charged with armed robbery. Thank you. Right. Well, I'm charged with armed robbery. You know, uh, possession of a firearm. You know what? Yeah. I thought I got PFI on that. You did. Do you know what PFI means, right? Pending further investigation? That, basically, what that means is because there's no prosecutor on the weekends, I PFI you. Monday morning, I call a prosecutor and we write the case and then we get a warrant for you for armed robbery. Uh. 
tastes good. Mm-hmm. I talked to Aaron, and I talked to Becky. Yeah. Got their statements. Well, they made statements? Yeah, what they made say? statements. Basically, I just talked to him because when Officer Hawkins arrested you, he told you that uh, you told him that you went there. I didn't say I there. I just said I stayed there that night. Had you been there during the night? Yeah. Did Aaron know you were there? I'm pretty sure he did, yeah. I mean, he might have been asleep, but that's where I was staying that night. What time did you get there? No. You know what? I'm not answering any questions. Jeff begins to answer the questions, but quickly realizes his slip. This is bullshit. I'm happy to help you out. But you can't help me, man. Oh, I can't. Be. Can I have my buddy come to please? Just finish your coat first. Um, I don't, I don't. Well, here, here's, here's what the deal is. I have enough evidence like what? of the armed robbery, okay? But, you know, if, if you're saying you didn't do it, you need to give me your side of the story. I didn't do it. Okay, well, give me your side of the story. You got to I mean, convince me because I got a lot of evidence. I got a lot of physical evidence. Well, like what? Name the physical why, don't we t I, why should I tell you that? The detective deflects Jeff's question, which tells Jeff that there is no evidence. I mean, you haven't been, you haven't been helpful to me at all. Because you don't, because I don't believe that you got any evidence. Okay. Because I didn't, I didn't do it, so there's no Well, here, here's it. I, I'll give you one piece of my evidence, okay? Yeah. One piece. The phone for 7-Eleven was taken by the suspect, whoever that was, okay? It was taken by the suspect and it was thrown in the dumpster behind... 7-Eleven, okay? We got DNA off that phone. All right. That's one piece of my evidence. I have a lot of other evidence, okay? Like what? The, 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 there's only a couple pieces of evidence I'm missing. Name them. What's that? Name them. Well, why, why do I need to do that? <clears throat> you haven't helped me out at all. You give me a little bit, I give you a little bit. We go back and forth. I give you one of my pieces of evidence, now give me a little something. All right? What time do you get over to Aaron's house? No, anything I say here can and will be used against me. Sure, but anything you say here, I can also tell your your parole officer that well, you help me out. That doesn't mean dick. It sure it does. Well, you're arresting me for robbery tomorrow, so what the fuck does that do? The detective keeps asking for Jeff's side of the story. Jeff has paid close attention to the Miranda warnings, and isn't going to take the portion where it says anything you say can and will be used against you lightly. You help me out, I can help you out, sir. You place. can't tell me that you can help me out. Because all you said is that you're charging me with some bogus ass armed robbery bullshit. Okay. And I don't believe. Uh, there's no way. I didn't do it. There's no way. How drunk were you? Were you drunk? No, I was pretty sober. So you're in your right mind. You remember everything about the night, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so you couldn't have done something not remembered. You couldn't have gone and robbed the place not remembered? Fuck, no. Okay, so you would remember if you robbed the place. Yeah. Okay. What about Is this all being recorded, huh, and written down? I'm not writing anything down right now. But they are. Right? I don't think there's anybody watching it. The guy that brought me the coach writing, writing reports. You asked me to bring you up here. I, I mean, I was done talking to you. If you want, I mean, why don't we just talk about the gun? Let's start there. Okay? Well, well, I don't fucking have a gun or own a gun. Okay. I, I don't think you do. I, 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 know, I know you don't own one. Okay. But I need to know where that gun came from. I don't have... What the fuck are you talking about? The gun you were sitting on. I was sitting on? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Over at Aaron's house. I don't know what you're talking about. Aaron says it wasn't his. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Like I said, you give me a little, I'll give you a little. All right? I got a lot more I can tell you about the whole thing. But you got to help me out, too. Because I'm willing to go to the prosecutor, I'm willing to go to the parole officer and say, this guy's a good guy, he helped me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I've been doing this a long time, man. I know. I've been doing this a long time. Thank you. I know. I I remember back in 2002, I was on the case, I worked that case as a patrol officer. Okay? I've been doing this a long time. I know you don't want to go back to jail, right? Back to prison? Well, fuck. It looks like I am if, if and you're going to charge me with some bogus shit. You guys don't... I mean, what What do you got, really? That I, I was at a buddy's house, and I happened to come outside because you guys were fucking swarming the area, and they which fucking... Door, which door did you come out of? I came out of the uh, front door. You know what? I'm not saying that, though, man. Fucking dog going crazy. I... You know what? I'm done. Huh? I'm done, man. Fuck this. I'm not even answering. All this shit that I just said is going to be fucking written in the discovery now, right? What? You haven't said nothing. (laughs) I mean, every little stupid thing that you've asked me, dude, is going to be in the discovery. I'm not even going to do discovery. The prosecutor is. Okay. I mean... You, you halfway know the system, how things work, and you halfway don't. Am I right? I half-ass know yeah. that the only reason I came up here is to get a fucking Coke. Okay. And I got it, but now I want a Butterfinger. But that's not going to happen for a while. Jeff has no fear of prison. He has been through the system before and knows exactly what to expect. He would rather let the situation run its course and help them build a case against him. <coughs> what, the Butterfinger? Yeah. Why not? I need to go to the hospital. I'm coughing up blood. Let's go to the hospital. I'll let the jailer know you go to the hospital. You still have me back here, you know that, right? Where? Here at the jail, as soon as you get out of the hospital. I don't You're not getting out. I know. I can't finish it? You can finish it. Quick. I got things to do. I didn't promise you that. I said we'd see what happens. Alright? Like I said, you haven't helped me out at all. Why should I help you out? I got you a soda. Due to the lack of evidence, Jeff was released 12 hours later.